Hello folks, I am Marvel Master and welcome to the tutorial about activating the plugin for volumetric clouds in Unreal Engine 4.25. As you can see, I've already opened up my Unreal Engine 4 editor, created a blank project, third person example map. And now what we're gonna do first is go to the settings on top and click on plugins. And on the search bar on the top we will search for volumetrics. And here we choose the very bottom and tick enabled. And then we have to restart the editor. And once this is finished we can close this window and we have basically activated this plugin. Now how can we get uh, the clouds inside our level here? This is uh, quite simple. I go to the view options on the bottom here and click on show engine content. This will enable us to see uh, all engine content and the plugin content. And here we search for simply sky and under the volumetrics content folder there is a folder called blueprints and here you will find volumetric cloud layer blueprint. So I click and drag it into my world. And as you can see, nothing has happened. This is because we have to adjust some settings. First, we are going to do show sky dome. Check this. Then, uh, before we activate uh, more settings here, we need to um, lower the step size. Uh, otherwise, we would get very low FPS. So I will choose 6000. Then we can go on on the top again here on the cloud scale. I choose 120 for cloud altitude. I choose 8 and for layer thickness I choose 9. Now you can see uh, there is some sort of cloud showing but uh, it looks a little bit weird. That's just because um, the sky dome is too small. So I just click on the sky and it's basically the sky sphere blueprint. I scroll way up here and um, lock the scale so that when I put in a scale value here it will be selected for the y and z axis too. So I choose uh, x3, hit enter and as you can see now the horizon uh, is filled with clouds. So unfortunately, as you might see now, my uh, frames per second gets very low. This is because uh, the cloud system is at the moment very taxing for the GPU. And on the right uh, we have a few settings uh, to adjust this. Um, the most taxing settings are the step size and um, the cloud detail scales and the cloud detail amount. So let's just um, decrease the cloud DT scale to let's say 6. And as you can see we lost a little detail in the clouds but it still looks very good. And when I check my frames per second now and go to full screen it's quite okay. Okay to work with. Then we can um, also uh, change the cloud detail mount here. This will further sharpen or blur the clouds a little more. And uh, basically you can play with all the settings here, change uh, the density of the clouds, how light uh, penetrates the clouds, the cloud bias, the height, the altitude of the clouds in kilometers, the thickness of the clouds, also this uh, has an impact on frames per second. Then the shadow density, of course you can edit this too. And um, one thing the plugin does not um, provide uh, out of the box, I think they just uh, forgot to put this into the blueprint, is the cloud speed. As you can see it looks uh, quite nice here, but uh, the cloud speed is uh, rather high. So we can just uh, 
added this inside of the material of this um, clouds so I double click on the material of the blueprint and here when you see this on the very bottom left there's a detail pan speed it's at a moment moment at 0 0.04 and when I put it to 0 0.02 on the left here hit enter and apply to compile shaders you can see the clouds are now flying slower and what you can also do is uh, check the provided um, test levels uh, again on the left here you will see there is a folder called maps and inside here there are some uh, prototype maps for example the volumetric sky prototype map when I click on it and open it it will open up a configuration of clouds in conjunction with the landscape and as you can see it looks really really nice okay and that's basically it you can play around with the values to make the clouds um, fit your needs fit your personal style I wouldn't suggest uh, using these clouds in a uh, released game I rather um, suggest to um, just uh, play around with this or use it uh, for cinematics or even Arquis but as you can see um, Unreal Engine 4.25 has now a really promising volumetric crowd cloud system and I hope in Unreal Engine 5 this will be getting further improved so that we can have these clouds uh, inside of our games in future too. Okay, that's it for the moment. I hope you liked this short tutorial. If you got any questions or suggestions, uh, just leave a comment below. And I also want to thank my patrons. They help me to keep this channel alive, to uh, keep me motivated. And um, I hope to see you next time.